Hey there, it is Trucker Wayne with Driver Solutions. Somebody on uh, YouTube asked a good question uh, because it asked Trucker Wayne a question. I was talking about gear shifting, talking about working your gears. Do you like manuals or do you like uh, the automatics? We have that on my uh, Trucker Wayne Facebook page, a poll. It closes in like two days. Over 200 people have gotten in and it's been about 64, 36, 64 manual, 36 uh, automatic. It was going up and down, 63, 30, 67, 33. But it looks like the uh, manuals are going to win. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. If you're an automatic fan, let's say uh, 30, let's say just say 33% land on uh, automatics, and we have 200 people that voted. That's 66 people out of 200 that would rather go with an automatic than a manual. That's where I think companies get in trouble when you try to dismiss those kind of numbers. That's a pretty high number. 66 out of 200 for anybody just to dismiss that number, it's pretty high up there. So a lot of people are liking the automatics, man. And I, I keep hearing they're getting better and better. So good for that. But hey, he wanted to know about uh, gear shifting, what works for me, you know, what makes things easier. Well, here's the thing. Gears three to five, that's a splitter down six to ten splitter up right now i mentioned three to five because that's where i usually go and start out at third a load i got right now is seventy nine thousand five hundred with fuel three times coming out west i have started out in second you have to a few times i try not to we're talking about fuel mileage here and everything but there was a few times i started out in second but most of the time i try to start out in third if possible so here's the thing here's the thing and my first trainer and then I told you the, uh, I should say the second trainer I had, he was very on me all the time about shifting all the time, making sure it was good. Well, I was pretty good. And in my second year, I, I mentioned, I met, uh, met the guy who was teaching me about the intermodal in Chicago. And uh, I said, that's how I want to uh, shift. It was almost like he was in an automatic. It was, it was sweet, man. Learned a lot from him. Always learning. That was in year two. One of the things when you're in a manual, is the speed and the RPMs work together. If you're not paying attention, if you're, now I will say early on, you're gonna be searching for gears, you're gonna be grinding the gears, hopefully not too bad, to get it into where you need it to be, so you don't panic. I stalled it in Chicago when they had, uh, they didn't have all the open road totaling and everything, and I, you know, nothing bad happened, but I did stall it and felt stupid, and I kept, okay, I gotta stop doing that. That was really early on in my career. But one of the things is the RPMs and the speed, they work together. So let's talk about speed when you're upshifting. A lot of times in the internationals and in the, uh, now my Kenworth is, is a little bit different. You have Freightliner and International seem to have a lot of the same characteristics with the transmission. So basically, let's say you wanna get into six gear, uh, you're going 15 miles an hour, six gear. How would I know that? One plus five, 15 equals six. That was a good guide for me early in my career, especially if I lost a gear, I could look down, if I'm going up, I could look down, look at my speed and say, okay, I gotta get it into seventh, right? And give, give it a shot of fuel, get it into seventh. If I was going 25, 25, two plus five equals seven, 25. Really, really helped me a lot. My Kenworth I'm in, three, four miles an hour lower. So if it was uh, 15 miles an hour, it seems to be 11 or 12, but you learn that. You learn that as you go, you learn what works in the truck but early on it's a good gauge say okay i need to do this so one of the things is if you're constantly grinding gears you're not working hard enough to figure out the sweet spots you're not figuring out where the rpms are and your speed is at when you're going up it should be like a drum beat it should be grinding gears it's a boom boom and you hit certain uh, gears don't get too high in the gears uh, if you're pushing 2000 rpms it's way too much uh they do recommend a lot of times uh, to get 1400 rpms on my kenworth man you go 1400 you might as well you might even go downhill sometimes but i try not to get much over that yeah let's say you go 15 uh 15 1600 get in the gear get what you need and lay off the fuel and take off and that works pretty well the internationals the freight line are a little bit different find the sweet spot man start figuring it out start looking at your rpm start looking at your speed always work on that so you're not continuously killing that's part of our job if you're in a manual and you like a manual which seems 64 percent of the people do if you're always grinding gears you're not doing something right you're just not so big thing is 
let's talk about downshifting. Downshifting is the same thing when you're getting down uh, sixth, seventh gear, you can you still use that 15. You can still use the uh, 25 miles per hour thing for seventh gear, especially if you need a downshift, you lost it, you look, and then you get that uh, bigger shot of uh, RPMs up. Now I will say, I will say, I got a, man, I got a bug around here about to bite me, but uh, one of the things is really, this is a, this is a pretty big deal. When you're downshifting, trying to find that, and you're giving shots of fuel. Giving the shots of fuel, RPMs are super, super important. It, it, you, you couldn't get more important than the shot of fuel. You don't want to go going up to 2,000 RPM when you're giving it the shot of fuel. It doesn't work that way. you got to figure out, okay, I'm going to hit my, see there's that B. I found the B, got out of the wind right there. You got to, you know, what you got to do is when you're downshifting, figure out, is it 1,400, 15? is a sweet spot for uh, 1300 RPMs when you're downshifting. That way, if you're not paying attention, if you're just shooting it up there and trying to find that gear, you're gonna grind it. But if you find a sweet spot, if you find a sweet spot with the RPM, what 13, 14, 1500, when you're downshifting, bring it even when you're upshifting, get it up to that RPM, go in, it is smooth. That's what I learned about the guy in Chicago, man. He knew those RPMs. He wasn't just working with speed. He was working with the RPMs, getting the RPM every time he hit that shot, muscle memory you start to remember when you drive long enough you just hit it and it'll get up to where you need to go and you push it in if it doesn't hit the first time do it again don't do it too many times waste of fuel but those are the kind of things when you're talking about manuals that are really important for fuel mileage um you know not constantly kicking it up kicking it up kicking it up and trying to find it you know start working on trying to find that sweet spot and pay attention to your rpms and speed a lot going on there isn't there but when you figure it out it's pretty easy get in mine now and no problem whatsoever man this beast found me again all right so i'm gonna i'm gonna hang it up and uh, this is trucker wayne with driver solutions with a positive path to trucking success if you if you want to become a truck driver check out driver solutions at www.greatcdltraining.com whoever you talk to you tell them trucker wayne sent you you can talk about man tell them you saw me on the manual uh video <laughs> and then you can check me out at trucker wayne facebook page or www.truckerwayne.com and i am out